The Yeti slash JT slash one is an ape like creature purported to inhabit the Himalayan mountain range in Asia. In Western popular culture, the creature is commonly referred to as the abominable snowman. Many dubious articles have been offered in an attempt to prove the existence of the Yeti, including anecdotal visual sightings, disputed video recordings, photographs, and plaster casts of large footprints. Some of these are speculated or known to be hoaxes. Folklorists trace the origin of the Yeti to a combination of factors, including Sherpa folklore and misidentified fauna such as bear or yak. To the Yeti is commonly compared to Bigfoot of North America, as the two subjects often have similar physical descriptions. The Yeti is often described as being a large bipedal ape-like creature that is covered with brown, gray, or white hair and it is sometimes depicted as having large, sharp teeth. Account of crossing the Lagpala at 21,000 feet 6,400 meters where he found footprints that he believed were probably caused by a large loping gray wolf, which in the soft snow formed double tracks rather like those of a barefooted man. He adds that his Sherpa guides at once volunteered that the tracks must be that of the wild man of the snows, to which they gave the name Mita Kangni 19 Mita translates as man bear and Kangni translates as snowman 571420. Confusion exists between Howard Berry's recitation of the term Mita Kangni 1719 and the term used in Bill Tillman's book Mount Everest 1938-21 where Tillman had used the words Mech, which does not exist in the Tibetan language 22 and Kangni when relating the coining of the term Abominable Snowman 714-21-23 further evidence of Mech being a misnomer is provided by Tibetan language authority Professor David Snellgrove from the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London. 1956 who dismissed the word mech as impossible because the consonants tch cannot be conjoined in the tibetan language 22 documentation suggests that the term mech kangni is derived from one source from the year 1921-21 it has been suggested that mech is simply a misspelling of mita the use of abominable snowman began when Henry Newman, a longtime contributor to the statesman in Calcutta writing under the pen name Kim 8, interviewed the porters of the Everest Reconnaissance Expedition on their return to Darjeeling 21-24-25. Newman mistranslated the word Mita as filthy, substituting the term abominable perhaps out of artistic license. 26 As author Bill Tillman recounts, Newman wrote long after in a letter to the Times the whole story seemed such a joyous creation I sent it to one or two newspapers. According to H. C. Iger, the Yeti was a part of the pre-Buddhist beliefs of several Himalayan people. He was told that the Lepcha people worshipped a glacier being as a god of the hunt. He also reported that followers of the Bond religion once believed the blood of the Mi god, or wild man, had use in certain spiritual ceremonies. The being was depicted as an ape-like creature who carries a large stone as a weapon and makes a whistling swoosh sound 27. Yeti was adopted into Tibetan Buddhism, where it is considered a non-human animal Tarajiani that is nonetheless human enough to sometimes be able to follow Dharma. Several stories feature Yetis becoming helpers and disciples to religious figures. In Tibet, images of Yetis are paraded and occasionally worshipped as guardians against evil spirits. However, because Yetis sometimes act as enforcers of Dharma, hearing or seeing one is often considered a bad omen for which the witness must accumulate merit. In 1832, James Princep's Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal published Trekker B. H. Hodgson's account of his experiences in northern Nepal. His local guide spotted a tall bipedal creature covered with long dark hair, which seemed to flee in fear. Hodgson concluded it was an orangutan. An early record of reported footprints appeared in 1899 in Lawrence Waddles among the Himalayas. Waddle reported his guide's description of a large, ape-like creature that left the prints, which Waddle got were made by a bear. Waddle heard stories of bipedal ape-like creatures but wrote that none, however, of the many Tibetans I have interrogated on this subject could ever give me an authentic case. On the most superficial investigation, it always resolved into something that somebody heard tell of. 20th Century the frequency of reports increased during the early 20th century when Westerners began making determined attempts to scale the many mountains in the area and occasionally reported seeing odd creatures or strange tracks. In 1925 N.A. Tumbazi, a photographer and member of the Royal Geographical Society, writes that he saw a creature at about 15,000 feet 4,600 meters near Zimu Glacier. Tumbazi later wrote that he observed the creature from about 200 to 300 to 180 to 270 meters for about a minute. 
Unquestionably the figure and outline was exactly like a human being, walking upright and stopping occasionally to pull at some dwarf rhododendron bushes. It showed up dark against the snow, and as far as I could make out, wore no clothes. About two hours later, Tumbazi and his companions descended the mountain and saw the creature's prints, described as similar in shape to those of a man, but only six to seven inches long by four inches wide. The prints were undoubtedly those of a biped. Western interest in the Yeti peaked dramatically in the 1950s. While attempting to scale Mount Everest in 1951, Eric Shipton took photographs of a number of large prints in the snow, at about 6,000 meters 20,000 feet, above sea level. These photos have been subject to intense scrutiny and debate. Some argue they are the best evidence of Yeti's existence, while others contend the prints are those of a mundane creature that have been distorted by the melting snow. Peter Byrne reported finding a Yeti footprint in 1948 in northern Sikkim, India near the Zimu Glacier while on holiday from a Royal Air Force assignment in India. In 1953, Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay reported seeing large footprints while scaling Mount Everest. Hillary would later discount Yeti reports as unreliable. In his first autobiography Tenzing said that he believed the Yeti was a large ape, and although he had never seen it himself his father had seen one twice, but in his second autobiography he said he had become much more skeptical about its existence. Scalp and compared it with similar samples from the Ciro, Blue Bear, and Black Bear. Burns concluded the sample was probably made from the skin of an animal closely resembling the sampled specimen of Ciro, but definitely not identical with it possibly a local variety or race of the same species, or a different but closely related species. 44. Up to the 1960s, belief in the Yeti was relatively common in Bhutan and in 1966 a Bhutanese stamp was made to honor the creature 45 however, in the 21st century belief in the being has declined 46-47. In 1970, British mountaineer Don Willens claimed to have witnessed a creature when scaling an Apurna 48 he reported that he once saw it moving on all fours 49. In 1983, Himalayan conservationist Daniel C. Taylor and Himalayan natural historian Robert L. Fleming Jr. led a Yeti expedition into Nepal's Barren Valley, suggested by discovery in the Barren in 1972 of footprints alleged to be Yeti by Cronin and McNeely 50. The Taylor Fleming expedition also discovered similar Yeti like footprints, hominoid appearing with both a hallux and bipedal gait, intriguing large nests in trees, and vivid reports from local villagers of two bears Brook Balu tree bear, small reclusive, weighing about 150 pounds 70 kg, and Bui Balu ground bear, aggressive, weighing up to 400 pounds 180 kg. Further interviews across Nepal gave evidence of local belief in two different bears. Skulls were collected. These were compared to known skulls at the Smithsonian Institution, American Museum of Natural History, and British Museum, and confirmed identification of a single species, the Asiatic black bear, showing no morphological difference between tree bear and ground bear. This despite an intriguing skull in the British Museum of a tree bear collected in 1869 by Oldham and discussed in the annals of the Royal Zoological Society. Attempt by local officials to drum up publicity 60. A Yeti was reportedly captured in Russia in December 2011 61 Initially the story claimed that a hunter reported having seen a bear-like creature trying to kill one of his sheep, but after he fired his gun, the creature ran into a forest on two legs. The story then claimed that Border Patrol soldiers captured a hairy two-legged female creature similar to a gorilla that ate meat and vegetation. This was later revealed as a hoax or possibly a publicity stunt for charity. In April 2019 an Indian Army Mountaineering Expedition team claimed to have spotted mysterious Yeti footprints, measuring 81 by 38 cm 32 by 15 in near the Makalu base camp.